Yeah, working to this video playing cards start from hmm. Yeah, this is one of the Baltic countries. Estonia. Yeah, I cannot really tell them apart. Okay, the Nimzo, probably. And uh, should I go for the Zemish? Hmm. Yeah, come on. It's always check. Always interesting. Yeah, this is the very old-fashioned approach back from the Botvinnik Capablanca game. Of course, you can improve on Capablanca's play. It's been uh, quite a number of years. Still, this was played 1938, but um, the overall structure is still considered to be rather favorable for white. So much that almost no um, strong player would uh, go for this for this setup. Yeah, white's idea is f3 and e4. Black needs to pressurize the center so that I'm not able to easily expand like that. Yeah, this is uh, the worst possible setup, actually. Yeah, I can just play f3, e4 now. Wow, this is uh, amazingly bad. <laughs> Okay, I can just I just take it. So bishop g5 and knight f4. Hmm. Bishop g5. Yeah, it it is good. First first um, pinning that. Yeah, c4 is, is so amazingly bad because it concedes any sort of pressure on the center. It immediately if he if he doesn't play f5 here he gets uh, run over with e with e5 and besides d5 is hanging but this uh, this now I can take and um, I will just keep the d pawn and he's f awfully weak on the light squares knight f4 rookie one he must even consider to play g5, but um, yeah, didn't do that. Okay, yeah, he maybe he must play g5. Hmm. The issue is uh, is the king position. He will have. Um, Constant problems now with the king, and I've got always rook e5 attacking the f pawn. I played the keep it simple approach leading to a good end game because he's got those big pawns I'm threatening king e3 and, um, check yeah if I take it I can just take it maybe this is even better activating the rook on the fifth rank yeah this is better Threatening rook e5. Yeah, I can just. What should I take here actually? Hmm. It's both good. On h3, he will play g4 anyway. If I take rook, rook h2. Yeah, this is this is easier. Check. 
so rook a7 or hmm, rook c1 i can go king d2 yeah maybe maybe i just play a4 a5 now get in c4 check yeah this is two connected passes against the two a pawns should check. be relatively easy to win check check And now I need to reroute the rook. The king is now near enough to the pawn, so the a pawn is is not uh, dangerous. I can go rook f1 h1 something like that, and then come from the back. Yeah, or this one. Just hmm, I know I got, he got, he's got the check. Hmm. Shouldn't do that. Maybe just intense C four. didn't work check let's cut the king on the check. a file very hard to believe that this shouldn't be check. winning i mean check 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 yeah now i can run the pawns check not run push the pawns A3, rook A1, and I, I get it. Yeah, now the pawns win, win on their own. Black resigns. Yeah, let's... Um, The problem with this c4 move, I didn't really get anything out of that. The problem is, is simply it doesn't put any pressure on the center. Here you can even think about after f3 96, maybe I even played this uh, too quickly with e4. It, it leads to a big edge, but uh, maybe I could have even uh, prepared this with a4, bishop a3 or something. But this is just good, even e5 is a good move. But uh, okay, I grab this pawn. Uh, knight h3 is the computer recommendation. Mm, weird. But this is just good for white, I mean, no doubt about that. And here I just transposed into this, uh, in this clearly better end game. Check. The computer is on plus three all the time, so despite the initial equal material, white is completely winning. I'm not quite sure that I played Check. it in the best possible way. I think I always kept um, a big edge. Check. Yeah, this this really should win. The two connected passes against the double a pawns with white's pieces being coordinated 
Okay, thanks for watching.